Hi, my name is Finn, and I am just a uh, just a guy. Uh, I'm a maker, and uh, today we're going to be talking a little bit about Cognition Virtual Labs and uh, some random tools that I found that I thought would be good to know about. Uh, so let's get into it. So first, let's talk a little bit about uh, some of the tools that I brought today. Uh, just some random things. So right here. Uh, is what we call a jigsaw and so basically what it is is uh, if you need to make some last minute cuts or you need to cut into something uh, this just really nice have a sharp blade on there and what it does is the blade goes out and back just like this uh, and so you're just able to cut through things so it's nice because you can cut into a piece of wood or uh, you can still cut planks and things like that we also have a level uh, and you might have already heard about level and you might have already heard about all these tools. Uh, I just grabbed some random things. But anyway, a level is used to make sure that whatever you are putting in or, in or installing, it is level. Meaning that it is straight up or down or straight uh, side to side. So, and how it works is in these little uh, glass, glass areas here, there's glass tubes filled with water. And in the water, there's an air bubble. Don't know if you can see that there, but there's an air bubble right there and lines in the actual vial that holds the water. And so what you do is you line up the air bubble with those two lines and right here is perfectly level. So it's really cool and you can also do it straight up and down too to where there's uh, two vials up in here that do the same thing but the other way. So, it's a nice tool to have to make sure that everything you're doing is straight. Also, I have a square here. Uh, now, as you can see, this isn't actually a square, but it's more like an L. Uh, and that's, you know, it's interesting why it's called the square, because you can use it to make sure that you have 90 degree angles on uh, whatever you are building or installing. So, what you do is uh, you have it, and you can you can put this edge off of whatever uh, whatever you're building to show uh, that it is in fact 90 degrees. It's harder to explain uh, than it would be to just show you. But that's that. Here we also have a Dremel tool. Now they also have uh, little ones that don't have this big uh, box here that holds everything. Uh, but basically what it is is it's this small small little handle that has a small attachment on it that you can change the different tips that go on there too. And so they, they can be used things for like cutting. Uh, depending on the tip, you can have like cutting or brushing or anything. And what it does is it just spins this tip really, really fast. And that's all it is. It's a simple tool but very effective. Here we also have this nail gun. So usually it would attach to an air compressor with an air hose. And so what the air compressor does is, well, it compresses the air. And so it just takes an air and compresses it down and sends it through this hose. And then what this does is that you load it full of nails uh, in, this, in this thing. And then it takes the compressed air and it will shoot the nails uh, when you pull the trigger. And so you can easily put in nails. Uh, this is usually used for trim as it has smaller nails. Uh, and so you want... You want to make sure that you don't see the nails, but also they've gone in all the way. So, a, uh, another good thing to have. Here we have a uh, stapler. You know, this isn't your normal office stapler that you just click down. But uh, what, this, what this does is that it takes staples in there, and you hammer it down. And uh, when, when you hammer it in, this pushes back and it shoots a staple out. And so it's really simple to use and really easy. Uh, nice tool. And last but not least of the random tools that I brought today, uh, here's a socket wrench. So uh, you've probably heard of a wrench, you've probably used a wrench, but what this is is that you put it on the nut and then you can tighten it and then uh, and you don't have to re-put re it on the nut each time that you uh, crank it. You just do this and it, when it comes back this way, it's not cranking it at all. 
it's uh, it's not moving the nut and then you can twist it and pull it back twist it pull it back uh, fun fun to use make some cool sounds um, so yeah that was a bunch of random tools uh, but I, w I do want to talk a little bit more about Cognition Virtual Labs if you have tuned in uh, every day for the past geez five days uh, I really appreciate it and uh, we hope that you're enjoying them so the Cognition Virtual Labs what we're trying to do is show you a little bit of what summer camp could be like for our Cognition uh, summer camp and also to make sure that you're learning something and you get to do something that's why we threw in a couple of fun experiments and uh, things for you to put together and so we really hope that you're enjoying them uh, as much as we are uh, so speaking about these summer camps uh, we will have virtual summer camps this year for Cognition and although that means that you won't have uh, the everyday person-to-person -person contact like we normally would we are still going to do very fun activities uh, and have a lot of information for you and and give you kits that have uh, some some experiments in them that you can do at home uh, even if you don't have the stuff lying around the house and so it's really cool and so I really hope that you're able to do the summer camp this year uh, and we'll get out a lot more information like these Cognition Virtual Labs. Also, like uh, like my friends have mentioned in the past, Cognition is also doing their gift shop right now. And it's really cool. You can buy all the things that you love from Cognition and uh, not have the danger of uh, transmitting anything. It's really easy. And uh, you can buy all the super awesome, amazing things uh, that we have to offer at Cognition. And so it's definitely worth the check out even if you don't get anything, because uh, why not? What's the trouble in just uh, looking? Uh, other than that, uh, again, my name is Finn, and in the next coming weeks, I'm just going to show you a little bit uh, more about tools, how to use them, and then also maybe just uh, get you thinking, get you making, and get you doing something. And uh, that is all for me. I really hope you enjoyed this Cognition Virtual Lab, and I'll see you next week.